In this video, I'm going to show you how to add foods to your meal plan. So if you scroll down, you can see that I'm using a carb cycling plan for this example. So I have a low carb day on my meal plan. And if I scroll down, there's a moderate carb day and then a high carb day. If you're on a flexible dieting plan, you'll only have one um, set of macros. So um, for each of the days, I'm going to be on the low carb day for this example. Uh, you can see the first set of numbers is my daily macros. So for the day, I'm supposed to get 150 grams of protein, 233 carbs, and 42 grams of fat. The next um, set of numbers is the four meal breakdown. So basically, it's just these numbers divided by four. So um, for each meal, I'm supposed to get 37.5 grams of protein, 58.3 carbs, and 10.5 fat. The reason that we have it broken down into four meals is we found that this is kind of a, a happy medium for people. Um, it's enough food throughout the day that people don't usually get hungry, but it's not too many that it makes meal prepping hard, and uh, it just seems like a, a good amount of food for each day. So that's what we've chosen. So to go over more of kind of the layout of this, you'll have a column for proteins, a column for carbs, a column for veggies and fruits. And then at the bottom, your fats um, are here. And then this is a really important part that shows you your remaining fat for the day. Um, you'll want to keep an eye on that as you're adding foods to make sure that you're not choosing too high fat um, food options and that you can stay within your fat goal for the day. So each um, row is broken down by the meal, so breakfast, lunch, meal three, and dinner. So I will show you how to start adding foods now. So we'll start with protein for breakfast. So I'm going to add eggs. And um, we have different options here. We've got whole large egg, egg whites, liquid egg whites, and then some different ones that people have requested to add. Um, so right now it's telling you to have six whole eggs in order to get um, close to that 37.5 grams of protein. Now if I scroll down and I remember I had 42, I think, grams of fat for the day, now I only have 13.2 grams. So that's obviously too much fat um, for breakfast. So I'm going to choose to add some different protein options as well with my whole eggs. So I'm going to add some egg whites. Um, let's do the liquid egg whites. You can buy those in a carton and you can choose different serving sizes. Let's say maybe five servings of it. Um, now I'll go check my fat and that brought me up to 32.4 grams of fat remaining, which is pretty good. Um, I'm even going to go a step farther and choose seven servings and just see what that does. See that removed that because that's going to be too much protein. So we'll maybe say six. Yep. So we'll do six servings and then one whole egg just because I like to have a little bit of fat with them. Um, so with the yolk, it adds the fat. And then I've got a whole 37.2 grams of fat remaining. So that's pretty good for, for that meal. Now um, I'm gonna go add some carbs. And you'll notice what happens when I add oatmeal. Um, I am, can choose cooked or uncooked. And that's just gonna depend on uh, you and how you like to measure it. I'm gonna choose uncooked because I think that's easier to measure it, um, weigh it out while it's uncooked and then add the water and cook it. So I will add that, whoops. Um, and as you can see, it gave me a serving size of 3.2 ounces or 89.3 grams of weight. So if you, if you weigh it on a scale, it's either gonna be 3.2 ounces or if you weigh in grams, it's 83 or 89.3. And that's the same weight, just in ounces or grams. Now, if you notice, it took away some of my egg whites because oatmeal has protein in it. So it gave me the 58.3 grams of carbs and my protein is a little bit over, but that's okay, it'll kind of even out um, throughout the day. And um, it removed some of those egg whites automatically for me. Now let's say I want to add some fruit to uh, my breakfast. Like I wanna have some blueberries maybe for, uh, with my oatmeal. So I will click that. And um, we have this in serving sizes. So if I wanna do one serving, which is one ounce um, of weight or 28.4 grams, that's going to take some of my carbs away from the oatmeal. So now it's down to 2.8 ounces. And my carbs are still about the same, um, 
So now let's just double check our fat, make sure we're still looking pretty good. The oatmeal did take some of the fat down, but 31.5, not too bad. Um, our goal is to have around 10.5 um, grams per meal, and I believe that was a, like 11.5, so we're, we're pretty close. So I'm happy with that breakfast. Um, now you'll repeat the same steps for all the other meals, uh, like chicken maybe you want to have for lunch, um, cooked chicken breasts, skinless. It's going to give you the amount that you need in order to hit 37.5 grams of protein. So that's going to be 5.8 ounces. You can add some carbs in, brown rice, maybe I want that. And I'm going to measure it cooked because I've already cooked and prepped my brown rice. It's going to tell me how much um, of a serving size of brown rice I need in order to hit that 58.3 grams of carbs. And it did pull uh, from my chicken a little bit because brown rice has protein as well. So um, everything kind of auto corrects itself uh, to make sure that you're hitting your goals. And you'll repeat these steps for each of your four meals for the day, keeping an eye on that fat um, all the time. If you do end up having some fat left over to mess around with, you can add a fat option by clicking from the drop down menu. And that's gonna be things like adding butter or coconut oil to cook with um, and choosing them from there.